beach. Did you give Steph any tips on being a shooter? I think he was a better shooter then. <laughs> Um, back then, and I was at the time, so no, I, his, listen, his father was a great shooter. I'm sure he gave him all the great tips. Okay, so we're gonna play association, so I'll say something, I want you to give me the first word that comes to mind. Orlando. Orlando, uh, home. I was thinking the same thing, I don't know why. Home. I don't know uh, about uh, your story. Uh, home, home. And as the Lakers entered the building, there was a fierce look in their eyes. That's the look of a team out to defend its home court. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. On this very special day, let me be the first to wish everyone out there a happy Veterans Day. Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kello. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Well, guys, the alley-oop is probably the most exciting play in basketball, right? Mavs head coach and Hall of Famer Jason Kidd said, quote, it can come from anywhere on the court, and that's what makes it so fun and creative. A lot of things can go wrong, but when it's connected, it's a beautiful thing. Brian? Well, he lobbed up a lot of them in his day. Thanks, Allie. Let's check out Sacramento's starting lineup. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Davion Mitchell is out there with Kevin Herter. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. And for the Lakers, we've got Davis. Buddy Heald is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Taylor in at the four-man spot. And seems hard to believe, but it's been almost 40 years since the Kings moved to Sacramento. And you know, maybe they haven't hung any banners, but they've had some special players and some great seasons in that time. And they mean a lot to that community. So the Lakers win the tip. Down low. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Doesn't take a lot for AD to get to the rim. With his length, he can throw it down easily. Outside Herter. Back to Mitchell. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. That's his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Team foul. On defense, the Lakers. Outside Barnes. It's stolen by James. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. Outside Barnes. Pass to Herter. Shot from 12. Got it. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Here's James. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with that's the Lakers the becoming the second foul. oldest player ever foul. to lead the league in that category. At the line for the Lakers. James, no good on the free throw. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size, Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only <laughs> player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assists, okay. Wilt Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. Here's James. The Kings getting their last shot to go. Schroeder can't get it to go. Here's Mitchell. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. I love the attack mentality in a close game. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. He'll find Schroeder. Davis down low, working on Sabonis. For three, James. And the Lakers get it back. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is up and in. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. To the inside, Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. 
Oh, and Murray makes this look all too easy. Superb at throwing it down with some power. Basket counts. James has got his third basket of the night. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Herder passes to Sabonis and placed off. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Davis misses. The Kings trailing. Outside Barnes. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Pass to Taylor. Here's James. Checked by Mitchell. And it's James with the jam. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Now here's Herter. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive, beautiful tip in there. For Sacramento, they've gone five of six. They're rolling. Outside Herder. Pass to Barnes. Sabonis, left side. Outside Mitchell. There's the three. The Lakers with a rebound. Their last game, a win against the Clippers. Looking to carry it into this one. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Boy, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road. And that's exactly what they showed last game. Yes, it's good. Well, Grant, it's still early in the season. But when you're on a team, do you have a good sense of where you stand in the league at this point? Well, it's hard to say. The year is just getting started. You just never know about injuries, trades, chemistry, how it all comes together. So I think most players aren't too concerned with the standings just yet. Timeout called. Sacramento. And for the Lakers, Clark, the last decade, they haven't been as impressive. Well, you know, B.A., there's a reason for that. They've missed more playoff games in the last decade than the franchise's entire existence. And a lot of it has been due to injuries. There's no lack of talent. LeBron took on the challenge, bringing the championship in the 19 and 20 season. But last year did not turn out as they were expecting. And a big part of it was injuries and really trying to adjust to new personnel. And so it's the Lakers with it, following the score by Sacramento. Right side, Davis. That one drops for him. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. The Lakers in the lead. Stolen by Davis. Outside for Mitchell. And there's the lob. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. Love the unselfishness of Monk there. I mean, love seeing him find the open man. It's stolen. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Mitchell with the ball. None in his pocket. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Kings. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Nunn finds Jones. Lopez against Holmes. To stop the run, and he can't bank that one in. Lopez. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul of the game. Lyles, he's checked in for Holmes. Second team foul. The Kings leading. Kings substitution. Pass to Metu. Back to Mitchell. Here's Metu, defended by Jones. 
The three from Mitchell sinks it from distance. Mitchell's got 11. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Lakers call timeout. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on the ball defenders out there. And the Lakers making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. For Los Angeles, they've gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. The jump hook. Mitchell grabs a miss. And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing, Davion never takes a possession off. And again, the Lakers, no good. Sacramento has gone two of five from deep to the middle. And Davis slams it home. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now here's Allen. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And Lopez gets it to go. And amidst the tall timber, he's right at home. Extremely comfortable. Lopez getting it done. Shots good by Metu. And the Kings lead by 10. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. 32 seconds left in the first. Mitchell up top, covered by Lopez. Pass to Metu. Jones with the block. Mitchell against Schroeder. Lopez in the post. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Here's Monk. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot mechanics, they're really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow-through in his shooting motion. Impressive. That one's off. Malik Monk taking two shots. Second free throw is good. The energy that Monk brings, I love it. I mean, when he's out on the floor, he's giving you everything he has. Davion Mitchell, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Sacramento Kings. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. More 2K action in just a moment. Man. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, for the Kings, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Oh, what I love was quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. On the court for the Kings, second quarter underway. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Kevin Herter out there with Mitchell, and it's Barnes in at the three. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Boy, and that'll give him a nice injection. Nothing like a rejection to get a team fired up. Now here's Herter. Pass to Barnes. Outside Mitchell. Clock at six. Here's Herter. Money on the 19-footer. Herter's got his second bucket on the night. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Here's Barnes. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Barnes, because of his size and ball skills, tough to guard on the drive. I mean, once he takes off towards the rack, he puts the defense in a hard spot. Harrison Barnes at the line for two. Both free throws good from Barnes. You know, back in 2010, 
Harrison Barnes was the top recruit in the country out of high school, Grant. Yeah, and interestingly, Barnes decided to play two seasons at North Carolina. Unheard of these days for someone with Harrison's pedigree. Off the inbound. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. What a great effort that time by Davis. Just never gave up on it. Worked through tough defense and still found a way to get it up and down. Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox is a competitor. He said, I want to win. I know there's more than I can do. Just trying to create a spark, some type of energy. You can talk about what you did in high school and college, but you have to take it to a totally different level if you want to be one of those guys in the league. Brian? Ali, thank you. Now here's Mitchell. 11 points in the game. Second chance effort. And Murray with the lay-in. Murray's got his third basket on the night right there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Mitchell following the score by the Lakers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kendrick Nunn. That's his first foul. Third team foul. And so here's Sacramento. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's Mitchell. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And... Guys like Oakley are now playing the five position and they're shooting three pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. Barnes against James. Barnes passes to Mitchell. Nails it. He's now six for eight for the floor. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. With the lead they had, you might think they'd start to settle, but they are still going at the rim strong. And the Kings call time here. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. And in a series of the half dots last year, they came out on the losing end, really looking for some improvement here. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Two teams in the bottom half of the conference, as far as respect goes. They're both scratching and falling to try to get a little more of that respect. The Kings making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Here's Barnes. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Outside Herter. Pass to Holmes. Davis from long range. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone three of three to begin the second. Field passes to James. Here's Taylor. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. He's got six. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is other world. When you get open, he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and pace so you can handle it. Now here's Barnes. He's coming off a 13 game against Cleveland. Boy, strength and body control on display there from Barnes. I will tell you what, he's got a competitive spirit to him. He doesn't want any defender to get the better of him. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all and force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Nice seeing Barnes go for that dunk. Always looking to finish with power at the rim. That's how you're supposed to do it. 
And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your game. You're not going to, it's not happening. Uh, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older, sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you. And it sure got the Lakers last season. Now here's Davis. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Uh, and he really dominated. Working hard to control the glass. Already, they're over the limit. And it's so early yet. This could turn into a bunch of free throws. And their number four overall pick, Keegan Murray, making a quick impact. One of the most efficient players in college basketball at Iowa last year. He went on to win MVP of the 2K23 Summer League. Can he become a rising star for the Kings? It'll be fun to watch. The Kings making a switch here. Matu's checked in. Pass to Herder. Here's Matu, covered by Lopez. Here's Lyles. Shoots over Davis. And it's Lyles missing. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Allen finds Schroeder. And Davis gets it to go on the assist from Schroeder. Davis has got 11 here in the quarter alone. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Timeout call. Sacramento outplayed in their previous game on their schedule, losing to the Cavs. It's a fine line between playing with urgency and being out of control. <laughs> and they cross that line. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, they seem to be forcing things out there, trying too hard, pressing. When you do that, the turnovers pile up quickly. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Here they are. The Laker Girl dance team. Enjoy. Here's Matu. On the wing, Davis. Defended by Brown. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. He definitely saved a layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Sabonis, so he's checked in for the Kings. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Man, that one's good. Davis. AD doing what he does 24-7, stuffing that stat sheet. Outside Monk. Back to Herder. Monk against Allen. And it's Monk off the drive. Boom! He jams it straight down. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. The Kings have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Pass to Metu. Rejected by Lopez. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. Mitchell's checked in for Herder. Davion Mitchell. Outside Monk. Pass to Metu. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. For Los Angeles, they've gone eight for nine here in this second. Here's Schroeder. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Schroeder's got his second bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Mitchell. 15 points in the game. Six to shoot. Pass to Davis. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. 
Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Mitchell against Schroeder. Here's Davis, and Davis slams it home. How about that dish by Schroeder? Always a good idea to get it to the open man. That's, that's just good basketball. Mitchell, the pass to Davis. Mitchell against Schroeder. Sabonis, left side. Baseline jumper. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And the Kings lead by nine. Hey, Sabonis will occasionally shoot some threes, but this area is where he's most comfortable. Schroeder rejected by Mitchell. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Lakers able to keep the possession. Substitution for your Lakers. Damian Jones. Juan Toscano. Schroeder against Mitchell. It's not going to go for him. So Sacramento will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. 23 seconds left in the first half. Allen on the wing. Outside Jones. Here's Lopez. Uses the glass on the layup. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Here's Sabonis. Drops in the layup for two. Sabonis has gotten four this quarter. Boy, one of the things that stands out with DeMontis Sabonis, this guy is high energy all the time. He's a relentless glass eater. And we finish. Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K. It's Sacramento with the advantage at the half. They lead by 11. Jack Huntington. And that. Bam. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. They've got Buddy Heald. He's out there with Dennis Schroeder. LeBron James out there with Davis. And it's Taylor in a power forward. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. You look at Sabonis, and he clearly is one of the best passing big men in the game because he sees the floor so well. Pass to heel. And here's Schroeder outside. It's rebounded by Sabonis. And Sacramento shooting 61% for the game, knocking him down. Will grab the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline. Demonis Sabonis going to the Kings. Big time surprise. Tyrese Halliburton going the other way to Indy. Now, I like that deal for both sides. Sacramento adding an all-star big. The Kings needing some size. Sabonis adds that. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Kings made a big trade last season to acquire all-star DeMontis Sabonis. It's clear they want a break from their lead long playoff drought, and they're hoping he can help them do it. He said, quote, it's exciting. I want to be here. We're going to fight and get wins. Back to you. Yeah, they're all in, Allie. Thank you. Clock is at three. Herder. Good to see Hill upping his defensive intensity there, making an impact with his high energy. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. 
So it's Sacramento now. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Oh, they get a hand on it. James with a steal. To the paint. And Davis with the basket on the assist from James. Davis has got 21. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Now here's Sabonis. He has six. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Nuns checked in for Schroeder. And the Kings also make it a change. Lyles, he's checked in for Sabonis. And here's Barnes. Just five on the clock. And it's blocked by Davis. Davis so good with his timing and length to get up and deny shots. James, that's good. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Timeout call, Sacramento. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. The Kings making a switch here. Holmes is checked in. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Mitchell. And here's Herter, guarded by Heel. It's stolen by James. With that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. James has got eight here in this quarter. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Inside, here's Lyles. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Nice ball movement. Good job by Murray to recognize the situation and create the wide open look. Yeah, the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline. A deal centered around DeMontis Sabonis going to Sacramento and Tyrese Halliburton sent to Indy. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. That blockbuster Sabonis Halliburton trade. What do you make of it for the Kings? Well, you know, B.A., Sacramento was a guard-heavy team. Sabonis adds size. He also adds playmaking, and I love his motor. I think it was a move to even out their roster. Murray, no good. The Lakers have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. And he gets the bucket. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. And the Lakers making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Davis, he's checked in for the Kings. Monk comes in for Mitchell. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. James with a steal. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. And we have to take another look at that block. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Allen, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Lakers foul. Grayson Allen. That's his personal foul. Second team foul.
Holmes finds Davis. Now here's Herter. Outside Monk. Drives to the hoop. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Here's James. And he converts the layup. James has got 15 points in just the second half. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Outside Monk. Pass to Davis. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. And the action on hold. It appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Man, that's tough to see. On the court. Yeah, so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries well, might show up. And the whistle blows. Kendrick it's going to be on Kendrick Nunn. His that's his fourth ball. foul of the contest. Lakers on D. Brown. Now the Lakers moving it up. Got a piece of it. On the wing, Davis. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his third foul so far. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Jones, he's checked in for Davis. Demonis Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Now here's Monk. He's got six. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Well, you can see Monk's growth in operating in the pick and roll, getting better at taking advantage of what's available. Yep, that one goes. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Sacramento has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two. On the wing, Davis to the paint. Here's Sabonis. Rebound by the Lakers. 149 left in the third. Jones, the pass to none. Back to Jones. Here's Toscano. Pass to Lopez. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lopez has got six points. A decent contest there by the defense, but Lopez unbothered, unfazed. Left side, Herter. It's a bonus. The pass to Herter. No good with the triple. The Lakers trail. Right side Jones. For the lead. And it's good on the layup. Jones has got his first points of the game. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Up for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Lopez has got a rebound number five here tonight. None. The pass to Lopez. Excellent D there from Holmes. Both sides going at it. Classic good offense, first good defense. Oh, got that one up quick. Herter's got seven points for the quarter. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. Schroeder, he's checked in for Allen. Herter. That's his second personal foul. And that one misses. The Kings have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Here's Monk. Rebound, the Lakers. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Pass to none. Jones in the post. And the layup is good off the glass. 
And the Lakers lead by two. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. And that quarter was all about him. Leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. All right, we'll get back to the action after. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. It's the fourth well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Taking a look at Sacramento, Mitchell and Monk there the backcourt. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. You know, give Schroeder credit. Taking the contact like a man and staying in control. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. A nice shot by Mitchell. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Here's Schroeder. And he drops in the layup off the glass. So crafty and clever at finishing inside. Schroeder doesn't lack confidence trying to get it up and down from this area. Left side Monk. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Here's Davis. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Davis has got 23. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Just a perfect pass and some pretty slick body control on the finish, too. Man, that's butter. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Down low. Here's Mitchell. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. He's got 24. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. The Lakers call timeout. Also with a sub. Herter's checked in. And keeping us updated from the sideline. Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. He told them, quote, it all comes down to the next few minutes. That's what will decide this game. So step up. This is your moment, not theirs. Inspiring words, guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. All right, time for an injury report. And now Ali LaForce has an update for us on LeBron. What's the news, Ali? Thanks, guys. I got a status report update on LA's head athletic trainer. It's not good. A broken ankle. Potential surgery needed to stabilize it. And this early in the season, I'm sure they're willing to give him any time he needs to make a full recovery. Back over to you. Okay, Allie, thank you. Boy, this injury definitely looks like it could be serious, guys. Uh, here's hoping it's not, but yeah. 
Well, this team may have to get used to playing without him for a bit. And in the training room, guys, I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. And he sinks the second. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. To the middle. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. That free throw, good from Davis. You know, I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total package, both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. Allen against Barnes. Pass to Herter. Uncovered. They grab their own miss. Rejected by Allen. Pass break. Here we go. Here's Davis. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got four rebounds in the game. Mitchell against Davis. Shoots. Another shot. Murray passes to Mitchell. Over Allen. Tipped. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And he lays it in on the break. And the Lakers lead by eight. The Kings have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. Dennis That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation team. because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Let's a floater go. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Schroeder passes to Lopez. Here's the teardrop. He's off on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Kept alive. Outside Herter. Just five to shoot. Goes back up. Sabonis. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Sabonis has got four points now in the quarter. Schroeder passes to Davis. And he banks in the layup. Now Mitchell. Outside Barnes. Back to Mitchell. Shoots from 12. Here's Murray. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. And the shot goes. What a big body. Sabonis might have range, but put him inside and let him eat. The Lakers have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Pass to Davis. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Schroeder's got five assists in the game. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being right, taken man. to the woodshed in the paint. It's teaser time. focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor he was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball and he did just that guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight 
Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans. And it motivates him to always give them his very best. Nice defensive awareness from Schroeder there, coming up with the steal and then igniting the break. The floater. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 27. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. Second team. That free throw, no good. Herders checked in for Sacramento. Dennis. He hits the second from the line. The Kings have gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Here's Mitchell. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got nine rebounds now. Los Angeles foul. Terry Taylor. That's his first personal foul. The Kings trailing. Second team foul. Two minutes Outside Mitchell. In his ball game. Knocked Two away. Minutes. Schroeder with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Schroeder can't get it to go. And the Kings shooting 41% here in the fourth. For three... It doesn't go for him. And the Lakers going the other way now. Pass to Taylor. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Now here's Mitchell. He's closely guarded. And a nice finish on the layup. Mitchell's got nine points in the quarter. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Left side, Davis. the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Schroeder's got his sixth assist of the night. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Mitchell misses. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Outside heel. Pass to Davis. That shot missing. Great D that time from Murray. Sacramento shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Barnes, one of the best catch and shoot guys around. Awesome at feeling out the defense and then taking advantage of what's available. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. And it's Sacramento's ball. They trail by nine. Here's Mitchell. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Hey, Count it. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small the side for a power the forward, but he just Murray. never gives up. At the line for one. And Murray, no good on that one. And the physical style Murray plays with will serve him well in this league. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Right wing. To the inside. Gabriel's shot is off. Pass to Akpala. Here's Bazemore. Gets the three to fall. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from...
Or step, you have a
I'm in it.